Hey everybody and welcome to another Project Zomboid Mapping 101. I know it's been a while since I last made a video but I've been dealing with a bit of a burnout and I figured in about a month and a half I'm gonna have another kid so I should probably do some videos before then and then uh, take it easy for a bit. So in this video we are going to turn the beautiful map that we made in the last videos into a playable map inside of the game. Um, we are not going to add any buildings at this point, we're just going to get the raw data that you see in front of you into the game and make it playable. Adding buildings and stuff is very straightforward, we'll cover that in future videos where we'll also do another revision on how to work with the, with the building editor, but right now we're just going to focus on getting this into the game. Now to do so, we need to hop into Photoshop or the image tool of your choice for a little bit and make another image that we're gonna need. Now, last time we left off with a regular map and a vegetation layer. Now, in addition to those, we also need a zombie spawning map. So I'm gonna create a new image for that and make it entirely black. Black means there's not gonna be any zombie spawns and white's gonna be zombie spawns. So I'm also gonna make a white light layer or a clear layer and draw with white on that one. And you can use grayscale to your heart's content. So we can do a lot of zombie spawn over here and then maybe do some gray over there. And of course you're gonna do it a bit more careful than I am. And you can, in this case, you can work with fades. So you don't have to make a hard edge. You can make a brush and have it a little bit dotted like that. Cause if you have a gray or a black underground, it's gonna be grayscale from gray to white or gray to black and then white to black and it'll be just fine. So you can do whatever you want, make it nice and dramatic. In this case, I am gonna keep it a bit clear because we're gonna spawn right in the open and I don't wanna get eaten right away. Be a, a shit demo to die in the first two minutes. So we have half of the map spawning a shit ton of zombies and then half of the map doing absolutely nothing because that's gonna be black. I'm gonna group these and call them zombie or spawn layer. Uh, let's turn off caps lock. So black means no zombies, white means a shit ton of zombies, and in between is, uh, well, the more black is less zombies and the more white is uh, more zombies. The only thing that you need to do for this image is scale it down. The zombie spawn image is one tenth of the size of your regular image. So our map is 300 by 300 tiles or one cell, so 300 by 300 pixels, meaning our zombie spawn image is only going to be 30 by 30 pixels. I'm going to go to image, image size and make it 30 by 30. Hit OK and it scales everything down. Now don't save your PSD file or your work file in this way, just make or downscale it a little bit, save it out. So I'm going to call it zombie spawn or call it tutorial underscore zero comma zero one underscore zombie spawn now in this case the naming is not really important but i'd like to keep it consistent with the other stuff maybe no uh i'm gonna keep it like that hit save now in photoshop i'm gonna hit ctrl z or z to revert back to my original scale and then save it out so i don't mess up my entire image for the future now with that image, we can go back into the world editor. Go to file. Oh wait, you have your world open right here. Now you're probably inside of your cell. You have to hop back to the world view, unlock these options, go to file, go to generate lots. And in this case, it doesn't really matter for me which one I pick because there is only one cell and I actually have it selected. But anyway, I'm going to click all cells. Now, first off, it's going to ask me, where do I want to save? the lot files. Now I'm going to create a new, let's go back to where this is located, tutorial world. And then I'm going to create a folder called lots where it's going to save this stuff for me. Select the map. Now for the zombie spawn image, I'm going to select the image that I just made uh, right here. And then for the tile definitions, you are just going to go back to your modding tools to tiles and select this folder. 
don't go into two times and you probably don't have my pack maker because that's unique to me and just select this folder hit ok and then hit ok again applying if you hit that it just applies those settings for you nothing actually happens see now it's saved you have to hit ok for it to actually do the work there we go it's generating my lot files it's finished i have no buildings i have no rooms no rooms no, no room issues and i have no objects now that's all good at this point in the future we will all add all of those and things should be great. Now I'm going to go open my folder real quick. Give me one second. Let's do that behind the scenes. So in my tutorial worlds folder, there is my lots folder. And in there, there should now be a file, lot header, print data for 00, zero and world 00. zero. Scale this down. And we need to do two more things or three more things actually we need to go back into our world and we need a place for our character or players to spawn we're going to zoom in i'm going to spawn on this corner as i this part's going to be flooded with zeds on this side i'm going to do a spawn and that is this little icon over here this lets me place a spawn point now usually you'd place this inside of a building but spawning outside works just fine I'm going to click it down and you can see that it has all professions selected. Now I'm, I'm completely fine with that. I'm going to close this and that is good for me. I'm going to hit Ctrl S to save it up. Go back to the world view, go to file and write spawn points. Now, of course, if you hadn't done the previous step, there would be nothing to write. But now that we have done that, we can write the spawn points and save it out. Now it sets a name for you we're gonna keep that as is that's just fine and we're gonna hit save hit ok now you may be faced with the fact that right now nothing has been saved if i go to the folder actually you can see that there are is no spawn points file now the moment i hit ctrl s here it will write it out for me now we have a spawn points file just as you can see so setting this up just creates the option for it to save every time that you save your project now the same applies to the right objects to lua um, objects would be car spawns and navigation mesh and stuff like that we don't have that at this point but we're still going to set it up so we don't get any issues now when you first want to save this out it will say uh, the name will be world objects lua you can rename that to objects lua I'm not completely sure why, but that just works. And I'd recommend you doing the stuff that works. If you want to try the other one, be my guest, but don't complain to me if it doesn't work. So object.lua, hit, hit save. In this case, I already made it previously to, well, filming this tutorial. I'm going to hit yes to over saving it, overwriting it, hit OK. And then again, Ctrl S to save. It gets updated and we're good to go. Now. To actually get our map into the game, we also need to create a mod for it. Now to create a mod, we are going to head over to our C dot or slash users, slash your username, slash somebody, and then slash mods. In here, you're going to create a mod or use the mod template that I will provide with a link in the description. Um, I'm going to use Dirk's map test mod. And in there you will find a media, a mod.info, and a poster.png. These are the three things that you will need inside of this folder. For the poster.png I'm using a weird in image with a white blob, because um, I needed something. For mod.info I have the info for my mod. Of course, uh, if you're using my template, please change this accordingly. Um, the thing you will need is the name of your mod, the ID um, with which Steam will identify your mod, the description, which is the description of your mod, of course, and then the link to the poster, which is the main image, which references the poster.png right behind it. In there, we have a folder called media. In there, we will need a folder called maps. And in this case, I named a map tutorial map because that's going to be my map. And in there, you're going to paste a bunch of stuff. Now, most importantly for this, this is stuff that we just generated. Now, 
you can see the lot files that I have from my world editor from or where we generated the lots we have these files. Now these files, you're gonna throw them in here. I've already done that, but I'm gonna replace them right now. Now, in addition to that, we also have a objects.lua and a spawn points.lua. You're also gonna throw these in. And then we need two more files. As you can see, we have a map.info and a thumbs.png. Now the thumb is the image that's used for the spawn points. Um, I'm using the same image as for the poster, there's no specific size that this needs to be or there is a specific size but i don't know it at this point i will put it in the description if i look it up afterwards and then for the ma, uh, ma uh, for the map.info we have a title which in this case is tutorial map then we have a lots um, this indicates if it's on the real map or not uh, if you add muldra comma space k y it will be on the the real map and then the description for your map mod and then fixed two times is true uh, this defines that all the tiles that are visible in the game are the updated version um, actually at this point i don't think there is a way to play with the older tiles but you still need to add it into your map mod now if you have taken the steps from before you can go to steam and open up the game now our project is almost opened up we are going to go to mods if developers watching this, please get rid of this little screen or make it an option where I can have it checked so it doesn't open every damn time I try to do anything. <laughs> I hit OK and then of course enable the mod that you want to test out. Then go to solo in this case, go to next and then your map should be here. Mine's named tutorial map so that's great and my image is too big so I should probably look into the size that it should be because you want to have it nice like the other ones um, yeah hit next I'm gonna quickly spawn in a random character my PC is slow as fuck so this takes a while so I'm gonna skip it eventually and of course we spawn in fog so we have a great vision of what our map looks like that's that's wonderful um, but yeah we, we're now running around in our own map which is wonderful and it's it's looking amazing for the you know six meters that i can actually see let's see if the zombies actually spawn where we indicated they should be spawning yeah i can view one two there's a there's a whole bunch but that's working that's great and i'm quite happy with uh, how that turned out now in the future videos we will add some buildings and then hand draw some details and do stuff like car spawns and specific zombie times and stuff like that but for now, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. Quick shout out to my patron on Patreon. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, if you like these videos, consider liking and subscribing, of course. And I hope you have a very, very nice day.